Dear Molly, I'm sure you're looking absolutely stunning on the other side of this wall, and I cannot wait to see you in a few short minutes. Our big day is finally here. 2,672 days ago, our journey began on that fateful first date. We sure have come a long way, and every day continues to surpass the previous. You are the most positive person I have ever met. Your enthusiasm for all of life's little moments and your genuine attitude every day is amazing. You don't dwell on the little things and you always find positivity in any situation. You, p you possess an infectious smile and laughter that can lighten a room. And that smile, I'm the luckiest man in the world. With all my love, past, current, and future, John. So after John and I graduated high school, uh, we both kind of went our separate ways. I went to Minnesota, he went to Michigan. So we didn't really get to see each other as much as we would have liked. Um, so over the last few years, we've kind of gotten in the, uh, the habit of talking on the phone. And so um, what you have to realize is John's, John and I conversations generally revolved around three topics, baseball, camping and fishing, or music. But this particular conversation I remember, and I don't know if you remember this, but uh, we were talking one night and uh, you kind of just automatically went into this conversation about Molly and how awesome she was. And I remember you saying, Matt, I am so happy right now. I can't explain to you how it feels. And when you hear that from one of your best friends, there's really nothing more you could want. I still remember this kid called up and asked Molly if she wanted to go to a volleyball game at the high school. He said it was on his way. <laughs> Later that night, Molly got home. She stuck her head in the bedroom and said, I'm home. By the way, John asked me if I wanted to be his girlfriend. There was a pause because we were waiting for an answer, and we finally said, okay, what did you say? Molly said, sure. At that point, I figured I needed to know who this kid was. What I found out was he was very respectful. He was an honor student. He was going to Michigan Tech to be an engineer. He was an Eagle Scout. He played on the high school baseball team. He was going to play on the college club baseball team. Wow, this was the perfect kid. And then I found out he was a Viking fan. It was too late. I already liked him too much. And he was the perfect kid for Molly.
at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. John Hohol.